Thank you, Sylvia. I also want to take a moment to recognize we have with us here today also Brandon Potter, who just won a primary against a Democrat who turned his back on nursing home workers like us. Brandon Potter just defeated Malay in the primary. And we need people to understand that if they don't stand with nursing home residents and nursing home workers, that we have strike power and we also have political power and we will use whatever it takes for us to win safe staffing. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Next, I'd like to call up one of our heroes, Representative Dave Bennett, former member of our union and lifelong champion. Good afternoon. I'm very proud to stand here with you today, and I'm also very sad to stand here with you today. You people risk your lives every day coming in here to help these people. They're afraid that of the COVID. Now they've got strange people taking care of them because management, management won't pay you a living wage. It's uncalled for, and it, it makes me angry. Uh, we, we've been working hard to, to get through this, this COVID thing. And when this COVID thing is gone, you'll still be here. And you'll still be working in there. So the management's got to wake up and pay you a decent wage. And the staffing has to be four to one. I mean, I'm a nurse. I started off as an orderly. You know, and I used to have to do the, a lot of the things you do in the morning. You can't take care of more than four people decently. And, you know, it's just, it's just impossible. And then you should show some love and, and talk to them a little bit. You have a good time. And um, it's just we need to improve the whole system. And this is where we're starting to do it right here. And I'll say it again, I'm very proud to be here with you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dave. Also want to recognize Pawtucket City Councilwoman Megan Coleman, who also just won her primary.